Alright, sometimes you can hit the skill stop and it will knock down the tower. What is going on everybody? AMD Coinbusher here back with a brand new High Limit Coinbusher video for you all today. In today's video we're going to be doing a $50 million buy-in and they gave us uh, 500 quarters to get started today. Super, super expensive and risky game, so wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with millions in profit. And this is one of the craziest setups I've seen in here all week. They got uh, five $1 chips visible. There was two of them back there on the pressure. They're behind those uh, towers, uh, $10,000 chips right here. I guess you can consider that like a big old wall made out of $10,000 chips. It goes like this way and there you can see it. They got two quarter pyramids up front. That's probably about 500 quarters in each one of them. Maybe more, maybe less, who knows. And uh, they got some yellow thousand dollar chip towers with two gold dice right there and two white dice. White dice multiply the chips and the cash by whatever they land on when we roll them at the end of the game. And the gold dice multiply our gold. And each one dollar chip is worth 500 three quarters. So we have the potential to win 2,500 three quarters just in one dollar chips. That's not counting the two quarter pyramids right here. And they got probably the world's largest uh, spiral tower made out of five thousand dollar chips in there. That thing is absolutely massive. Hopefully we can get it to drop into the payout chute here soon. Oh yeah, that uh, quarter tower over there on the right side, nice it fell backwards. Hopefully that did not push that $1 chip into the gutter. And for the ones who don't know, there's actually two little, uh, what do you call it, like side slots on the left and the right uh, corners. And if anything falls down in there, that would go to the owner and I wouldn't get a win or keep any of that money. So we do got to watch out for that. Oh nice, there we go. That big old tower on the pusher, I honestly think we're going to get it before we run out of our 500 quarters. Alright, so we have one, I believe one, maybe two one dollar chips so far. There's another one on the edge right here, check that out. Alright, sometimes you can hit the skill stop and it will knock down the tower. Oh my goodness, wow, did you see that right there? That was absolutely amazing. So we got like all the $1 chips out there, plus an infinite amount of $5,000 and $10,000 chips. Holy mackerel, that was a fantabulous push right there. So uh, be sure you leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed that right there. That was absolutely phenomenal. Now let's go for... Uh, 20,000 likes on this episode today. If we can get to 20,000 likes on this video, I would greatly appreciate that, and it would help me out tremendously. And I reward you all for uh, hitting that thumbs up button with better content the next day, so there might be a large buy-in tomorrow or whatnot if we can get to 20,000 likes, so be sure you hit that like button, everybody. And uh, check that out, they had uh, two mystery bags hidden down inside that big old tower. Uh, $5,000 chips, that's awesome. Yeah, they had a sky blue and a black mystery bag. Yeah, I can't even remember the last time I seen the regular type of mystery bags in there. I know we've typically been seeing the uh, dollar sign money mystery bags. Those are about in there every single day. But uh, it's always nice to see a different variety of mystery bags and items in there we can win and whatnot. Uh, so we just got that sky blue mystery bag. Clear out that loot shoe, just getting real full. Alright, so we've won both of the mystery bags out of there. I'll open those up here in just a few minutes. Let's uh, stay consistent, push across the whole field. Try to win all this stuff out of here. I got that loot shoot emptied out a few minutes ago. Rounded up all them quarters that we won, and uh, here we are. We're continuing to push and try to make some good progress. Yeah, it'd be nice to get these $1,000 chip towers with the gold dice on top of them. Alright, let's see what that does. 
Hopefully that gives us a nice push. Come on. Yeah, these towers on the sides are going to be quite difficult to win, I'm pretty sure. Just because, you know, they're on the corners. Typically the corners don't move as well as the center does. Well, I mean, that's how they make money at these. They put the high-value poker chip towers on the corners to make them more difficult to win. Yeah, but I'm just glad we were able to win that uh, $5,000 chip tower in that short amount of time. That's what was surprising to me. We got it to go in like, probably less than 10 minutes. We've been playing about 20 in total now. About 8 minutes of that was getting the loot shoot cleared out. And uh, I'll probably edit out some of the gameplay. Now, sometimes I'll be putting quarters in there and we won't win nothing back at all. So for you all, I've probably only been playing about, I'm going to say maybe six minutes, seven minutes. That's what the video will be for you all. Maybe a little bit longer than uh, six or seven minutes. It might be closer to nine or ten minutes. Who knows? We'll just have to uh, see later on whenever I'm editing the video and whatnot. All right, so let's see. Now let's clear out that loot chute, it's getting pretty full. Wow, it's pushing pretty good today though, not gonna lie. All right, well I think now would be a good opportunity to go ahead and check out the mystery bags. Let's start with the black mystery bag right here. Oh nice, so we got uh, two gold dice, one white dice, and uh, is this the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip? No, it's not unfortunately, it's just a regular uh, five grand. I mean, that's not bad though, I'll take five grand. And uh, this right here is the $10 chip, so we get to turn this in, they'll let me spin a wheel, and that wheel has all these different types of chip values on there, whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build inside the machine here. So that is absolutely phenomenal right there. Wow, I was not expecting to see that $10 chip today. Alright, so we might as well go ahead and open up the uh, sky blue one as well. If I can get the thing open, oh my goodness, yeah, they tie the strings really tight on these mystery bags at times. All right, there we go. All right, so uh, let's check it out, see if they got any nice and valuable stuff in there. Hopefully it's loaded up real good. Oh my goodness, wow, we got the $5 chip today. That is absolutely brilliant. So we're going to get to turn this in, and uh, they'll take all this stuff that is on the blue shelf. So they'll put it all into the play field for us. And uh, we got a, another gold dice, a white dice, and we also got the mystery money dollar sign keychain today. So uh, this right here is actually worth one dollar all the way up to a billion dollars. It's different each time we win it. So I will ask the uh, employees what that's worth today. So that is not bad, not bad at all. Both of those mystery bags were loaded up real good. See, the only thing about the smaller mystery bags, they can't really fit that many dice in them or they don't really put that many dice in them so that's why I prefer the dollar sign money mystery bags but anyhow uh, let's go ahead and turn in that ten dollar chip we'll get to spin that wheel and they'll build that free bonus tower for us stay tuned you all alrighty we are back let's get right back to pushing so I went ahead and turned in that ten dollar chip and all five of them one dollar chips we won earlier now they gave us 2,500 more quarters and we got to spin that wheel Today it landed on one ounce gold bars, unfortunately. I mean, I'd take the gold bars any day. I mean, if you think about it, it's a free bonus tower. So, you really can't beat that. But, uh, I mean, it'd be much better if it landed on $25,000 chips or something like that. But uh, you can't always count on that wheel to land on, you know, the highest chip amount or the highest value. You know what I'm trying to say? But uh, regardless, it's still a free tower of gold, and I'm not going to complain about it. They also have a whole bunch of gold blocks scattered across the play field and whatnot. So let's see what that does right there. Hopefully that gives us a really, really nice push. Come on, big money. About to get a gold bar on this left side here. It's super close to going. Nice, we got it. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Yeah, I think we got really, really lucky the other day when we won that $10 chip. 
and uh, we had a chance to spin that wheel and I think it landed on uh, $25,000 chips if I'm not mistaken and I think the day before that when we won the $10 chip it landed on $5,000 chips or something so yeah that uh, $10 chip definitely offers some good you know amounts of money Well, we done demolished that golden tower that was back there on the pusher shelf. Just kind of went all these uh, gold bars down here now. Come on, big money, give me something. That gold bar is it's so close to going. Nice, oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know about these uh, towers on the corners. They're just being super, super stubborn right now. Uh, what I think I'll do, I'll just uh, finish out this bowl of quarters right here and just see if we can get these towers to move anymore. And after that, we'll go ahead and turn in that $5 chip. And uh, something I just now noticed, I know y'all probably can't see this at the moment, but I can see it where I'm standing at because I am much taller than the machine. Yeah, this machine is probably only about three feet tall. Well, like to right here anyway. That means I can see like way up here. I can see behind all the towers and stuff. Basically, the machine is a lot taller than the place I have the camera positioning. I know a lot of people say, well, how can you see behind all those towers? Well, I'm telling you right now. I'm, if you've ever played one of these, you'll know what I'm saying. But, uh, anyway, they got a red mystery bag behind this wall over here on the right side, and they also got a brown mystery bag behind the uh, wall on the left side, so. Yeah, hopefully those mystery bags are loaded up real good today. And uh, this might be a pretty quick game today, I don't even know. Seems like we've only been playing about half an hour so far, and by the time I edit out you know, all the boring footage and getting the loot chute cleared out, the video might be around, I don't know, we've possibly been playing uh, 15 minutes, that's what it'll be for you all. The video might be about 15 minutes so far, maybe less, really don't even know. But uh, I do apologize if this video turns out shorter than half an hour today. I tried my best to make the videos at least half an hour long. Seems like if they're a minimum of 30 minutes long, they get real good views and stuff like that. More people enjoy the longer videos. Because every single time I posted a video that was an hour long or more, it's always gotten hundreds of thousands of views. I don't know, hopefully this video right here gets hundreds of thousands of views. I try to reach as many people as possible, and uh, how you can help me do that is by hitting the like button. The more likes this video can get, the more people this will get recommended to. This video will show up on people's recommendations for uh, videos to watch. So, And I reward you all big time for doing that. The more likes we get... Uh, the better the content is the next day practically so be sure you hit that thumbs up button it helps out tremendously all right let's uh, clear out that loot chute wow it's getting really full mainly quarters though so really nothing to worry about but uh, just in case you didn't know there's actually a little opening space like right up above the uh, loot chute here and if it boils over and gets too full, a lot of times money will fall down that opening space and it would go directly to the owner. Like it would go into the machine in that little uh, loot box that's in there. And the owner would get to keep all that money. But sometimes we'll get real lucky and win like a $50 chip, something like that. And we get to cash that in and they take everything that we lost to the side slots and the stuff that we lost because the loot you got too full. And they put it back into the machine for us to have a second chance of winning it. So, 
I mean, there's two more mystery bags in there from what I'm seeing, so it's a good possibility that they might have a $50 chip in there today. So uh, anyway, we got, you know, all that gold out of there that they put in there, but uh, not much movement on these towers right here, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and cash in that $5 chip, and we'll get right back to pushing. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, Andy Coinbrusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I'm going to try something absolutely insane right here. A lot of y'all have been suggesting that I do this for a very, very long time. Uh, last summer, about this time, I was putting 1,000 quarters in there at one time, like every single day. And I haven't used that skill stop and loaded up 1,000 quarters at once in a very long time. So that's what we're going to do right now. We got plenty enough quarters to do so. Uh, as you can see, I turned in that $5 chip and they put all those towers into the play field. Or most of them are on the pressure. And they did not rearrange the towers that was on the corners, unfortunately. But hopefully, you know, once all these quarters get stacked up back there, it starts moving the uh, towers on the left and the right side here. Alright, let's uh, pile it up real good. Let's push on that left-hand side. Try to get that left corner filled in a little bit better nice there we go all right so i'd say that was about 600 quarters in right there so we got like 400 left to go so wish me the best of luck for this 1000 quarters at once challenge right here um leave your guesses down in the comments what do you think is going to happen when i let go of the skill stop button now, i'm sure the majority of you all have already seen me put a thousand in there at once but i know we've gained hundreds of uh well not hundreds actually thousands of new subscribers since last year around this time so uh just let me know what you think is going to happen whenever i release that skill stop button how, how big of a push do y'all think we're going to get i think it's going to demolish everything that is in the play field well probably except for the towers on the corners here that's just my prediction. It's my assumption. I don't know. All right, well, that right there was a thousand quarters at once. Possibly a little bit over a thousand. Uh, well, already off the bat, we got uh, two of the $10,000 chip towers to go. That's awesome. Oh, nice. There we go. Got a whole bunch of $10,000 chips right there. Quarters are getting stuck back there a little bit though. Let's clear out that loot chute because there's two stacks of cash stuck in there right now. Yeah, we definitely can't have that. Nice, there we go. Look at all those. Oh my goodness, wow. Nice, look at that. That was absolutely amazing. Well, unfortunately, we ended up losing the uh, red mixture bag to the blue shell, so... I'm hoping there wasn't a special chip or nothing like that in there, or else we'll have to pay a hundred grand for them to, you know, put it back into the machine for us. But, uh, one of the employees, the employee that, uh, come back here to put all those towers that are on the blue shelves into the play field, when I turned in that five dollar chip, he seemed like he was pretty aggravated, honestly. I don't know if they're upset because I'm winning so much on this game today, but I could tell something was going on. Because he said something like, don't be winning at all now, or something like that. He seemed pretty aggravated when he said it. So I don't know if their job is on the line today. Honestly, who knows? It's hard to say. All right, let's clear out that loot chute. Oh boy, it's extremely full, almost all the way. Yeah, when you're getting gold bars and quarters and $10,000 chips left and right, just like raining out of there every single push, that loot chute is bound to get, you know, stacked up in a little of no time. Best thing to do is just go down there and get all that stuff out of there and make a mountain of money below it. 
is actually this big old like tubware box that I have sitting underneath of the loot chute and it catches all the stuff that falls out of there because used to uh, before I was putting that tubware box down there to catch all that stuff sometimes stuff would just like fly across the room and it would roll up up and under like a, a slot machine or a vending machine and uh, the staff couldn't find it and it was just pretty aggravating you know having to stop playing and look for what happened to the poker chips or the cash or especially the quarters because used to they would not give you a thousand quarters no matter what type of buying you did but really the only reason why they give you a thousand quarters now is because most days they don't have any quarters in the play field whatsoever to start out with they usually give you a certain amount of quarters and they want you to fill it up yourself that's just something new that they've been doing over the past couple months I don't know if they're ever going to change it back to the way it was. They may mix it up from time to time. But just let me know down in the comments have the videos been entertaining lately. And if not, what are some ways that we can make the videos more and more entertaining? Just let me know down in the comments. Because I can tell the staff your all's uh, feedback or constructive criticism and uh, they can use that to better these videos for us they can change the way the games work a little bit so yeah just let me know what could be done better about these videos now there's a lot of quarters built up back there on the pressure i don't think i've ever seen so many quarters in my entire life it's loaded up real good it's going to be so satisfying watching all those quarters just fall off of the pressure shelf back there. You see the ones that are piled up like right through there? That's what I'm trying to win. I'm trying to get them to go down to that lower shelf. I mean, we're trying to make some progress on these towers on the corners anyway. So might as well have a little bit of fun, right? Yeah, it's going to be an avalanche when all those quarters fall. We won't be profiting any quarters because those are technically the quarters we stacked up in there, so. There we go. That's what I was waiting on. See all those quarters just fail like that? That was super, super satisfying. Alright, well... We might as well go ahead and open up this uh, brown mister bag right here. I've been holding it in my hand for about five minutes or so now. So let's check it out and see what we got. Oh my goodness. So we ended up winning uh, four of the white dice and one gold dice right there. Holy cow. That is absolutely amazing. That is what I'm talking about. So uh, anyway, um, I think... We should probably pay an extra hundred grand to have them take all that stuff that we lost and they'll put it back into the play field. Because we did not win another special chip or a special earbud that we'd get to turn in for a free reset. So, yeah, let's pay that extra hundred grand and we'll get right back to pushing. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So, I paid an extra hundred thousand dollars and they took all that stuff that was on the blue shelves. So they put it all into the play field. So uh, anyway, yeah, it looks like we already lost like 20 grand to the blue shelf on the left because the quarters were so stacked up back there. So that means if uh, there's no more special chips or earbuds we get to turn in inside of that mystery bag right there, then we'll have to pay another 100 grand to get that 20 grand back. But it would be worth it though because we have won, I believe, uh, let's see, eight of the white dots today. And the white dice would only have to total up to five whenever we roll them to make our 100 grand back off of that 20 grand right there. So it would be worth it. Worst case scenario, we have to pay an extra 100 grand. And also, surprisingly, they uh, rearranged all four of them towers that was on the corners. They put them more toward the middle. And uh, we're about to get that red mystery bag. I'm really, really looking forward to that. 
All right, let's rapid fire a bunch of quarters. You all ready for this? All right, hopefully that gets something moving right there. Come on, nice push. All right, let's stack up a bunch more quarters right behind that. Try to get that big old tower on the right side to get moving. And the two on the left as well. All right, let's see. All right, you think that's good enough right there? Let's see what that push right there does. Wow, we got a gold boss down here. That's awesome. There's also another one right there getting pretty close to going as well. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and check out the red mystery bag right here. I'm going to try not to get in the way of everything falling down and whatnot. All right, so I'm hoping there's something really, really nice and valuable in this one right here. We're about to find out. Oh my goodness, you have got to be kidding me. We won the $50 chip today. And another $1 chip and a white dice. You couldn't get any better than that right there. So the $1 chip, that's 500 quarters obviously. And the $50 chip, as I was saying earlier, I would get to turn that in. They will take everything that has fallen down in them uh, side slots. And they'll put it back into the play field. And that also goes for the stuff we lost. If that loot chute got too full, they'll put that back into the machine for us as well. So anyway, let's uh, push across the whole field. Hopefully we can win all this out of here, you all. Nice, there we go. We got the thousand dollar tower with the golden dice on top of it. Nice, that one fell backwards, so let's push all those chips out of there. It also might help us get the one on the right side too. Yep, see what I'm saying? That big old tower on the right's moving forward now. Oh yeah, we're going to get it to go, I'm pretty sure. 99.9% sure of it. As long as we stay consistent and push on the right, we should start seeing some movement over there. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. I hope everybody's having a really, really good summer so far. can't believe it's already about, like, I don't even know what today's date is, like, July the 10th or the 11th. I don't even know. I couldn't tell you. I don't really look at the days. I just make the days count. That's what I try to do. But anyway, I mean, we're a little bit into the summer already. I think the first day of summer was, what, June the 21st? I guess we're about one month in the summer. But, uh, honestly, I mean, where I'm at, it seems like it's only cold in uh, December, in January, and February, and partially in March. So, about three or four months of cold weather where I'm at, and then it, you know, goes back to the warm, warmer weather. So, but I'm going to make this summer the best summer I've ever had, no matter what. And uh, when I get more time this winter, and there's not too much else to do, eventually it'll get to where I'm posting probably a video on the second channel about every single day, or at least every other day. But for now, there's just so much I want to do. It's summertime, I'm trying to enjoy the nice weather and whatnot really don't have the time to uh, play those other machines and make videos on the second channel right now. But I promise you, here soon we'll get started on that channel big time. We'll uh, get videos out on there consistently. We've already done about five videos, but I, I swear it just takes up the whole day you know, to do a video on each channel like that, it takes the entire day up. Because I have to play that game and then edit the video. See, I'm just worried if I start posting videos on the second channel consistently, 
it will start hurting the views on uh, this channel right here, if that makes any sense. So I'm trying to just get this channel up to a good amount of views. That's really up to you all. I mean, y'all watch y'all watch the videos every single day, then you're helping me out big time by doing that. Then again, I'm not going to take away from this channel just to be able to post on the second channel as well. I'm going to make sure I post a top-notch, highly entertaining, high-risk coin brusher video for you all every single day on this channel. That is my main priority right now for uh, content production. Uh, well, I think we're just wasting quarters at this point. We're not really getting much movement on that tower on the right so I'm gonna go ahead and turn in the $50 chip and that $1 chip and we'll get right back to pushing stay tuned everybody alrighty we are back let's get right back to pushing so I turned in that uh, $50 chip and they took everything that had fallen down in the side slots today and they put it all back into the play field I mean just by the looks of it it looks like uh, we were probably the only ones that lost stuff to the side slots playing this game today so uh, yeah it doesn't look like anybody else was playing on this machine before I got here Cause, uh, I could see us losing this much to the gutters today or cause that loot she got too full and they also rearranged that tower that was on the right side they uh, put it right there in the center so Hopefully, we can get that one to go this time. Come on, big money, give me something. Now, there's quite a few $25,000 chips. If we can get those out of there, we'll be set. And also, I asked them what that mystery money keychain was worth today. I was going to tell you all like half an hour ago. But uh, anyway, they said it was worth $10,000 today, which isn't the highest amount that it's ever been worth. But I must say it is much better than $1, because remember, like I told y'all, it has the potential to go... Well, the price range is a dollar all the way up to a billion dollars. A billion is the maximum. And usually you could probably get that if you're buying with like 10 billion or 100 billion or something. But I don't think anybody has, you know, that much money. They're just telling you what it has the potential to go up to, depending on your buy-ins. But one thing I've noticed since we started winning that uh, dollar sign keychain, the Mr. Money keychain, depending on our buy-in size, that dictates uh, the value of that keychain. Like it could be, seems like the smaller buy-in you do, the smaller the value of the keychain is, and then the larger buy-in you do, the larger the value of the keychain. That's just how it operates, I don't know. I mean, it kind of makes sense to me, I guess. So. Anyway, we're just about to win it all out of there. We just got 30 grand there, five grand left to win. Let's win it out of there and we'll be set. And after that, we'll be ready to call them back here and they'll put all them dice that we want on the pressure shelf. And uh, we have to roll them down to that lower shelf. Whatever numbers are facing upwards. That is going to be our multipliers for this game right here. So anyway, let's see how many dice we've won in total. Let me just pick them up right here. They're sitting on this table. Now for the ones who don't know, the thing that is holding up the camera is actually like a uh, mounted like selfie stick or something like that. I don't really know exactly what it's called. I'm just going to call it a mounted uh, camera tripod. It's actually mounted on this little table right here. So now whenever the stuff falls out of the loot chute, it's not like jarring the camera and then shaking the camera. I know a lot of y'all despise that, and I despised it while watching my own videos as well. Well, anyway, I just dropped a uh, dice on the floor. Let me pick that up real quick. All right, so let's see how many white dice we ended up winning in total today. All right, let's see, let's see. There's a bunch of them for sure. All right, so that is five right there. We got uh, nine white dice in total, and it looks like uh, six of the golden dice. So that's 15 dice total today from a $50 million buy-in, which is still pretty good. Hopefully that's enough to win our $50 million back. So uh, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. They'll put them dice on the pusher, so stay tuned, everybody. 
Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here. They put all 15 of them dice on the pressure. So let's roll them down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they land on some fabulous numbers today. Wow, they're doing amazing so far. Look at that. That uh, dice landed on top of that other one. So yeah, those did absolutely phenomenal. We only got one one out of all 15 of those dice. That is incredible. The rest of them landed on uh, threes and fours, fives and sixes. So yeah, we got a lot of good numbers today. So I'm gonna go ahead and count everything up. I'll multiply our winnings and our gold by all this right here. And I'll let y'all know what we ended up winning today from a $50 million buy-in. So stay tuned everybody, we'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. You all are not going to believe how much money we ended up winning today from a $50 million buy-in. This is absolutely outstanding right here. So I ended up winning $13,794,000. That is the chips and the cash and the keychain all put together. And the white dice totaled up to 39, so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 39. And in total, that put us up to 537 million. $966,000 from a $50 million buy-in. So that means we profited $487,966,000 today. Holy smokes, that right there is an unbelievable jackpot win today. Honestly, very, very shocked about that. I was really not expecting to win anywhere near that amount of money today. I'm absolutely thrilled right now, and I don't really even know what to say. This is just insane. So we pretty much profited over half a billion dollars today. Well, 487 million. That is absolutely phenomenal. So this is hands down one of the best games I've played all week. So be sure you leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed that. And uh, the win doesn't even end there. On top of that, we won 154 ounces of gold. The gold dice totaled up to 22. So that put us up to 3,388 ounces of gold. The spot price of gold is 2,300 an ounce. Means we got $7,792,400 in gold. I'll take it. And last but not least, we ended up winning a 1,067 quarters. So let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got $266.75 in quarters. I'll take it. So anyhow, that right there is not bad, not bad at all for a $50 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell icon, that way you're notified for future videos. And if you want to check out the most recent video, yesterday's video on my channel, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. If you want to subscribe, that will appear at the top right. If you want to uh, check out a video on my second channel, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And if you want to check out an entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the top left. So with all that being said, I'll see everybody on tomorrow's video. Y'all take care and have an excellent day.